Here we go. Sound's coming through. Good, good. Excellent connection. Live there. Showing up. Hello, World Wide Web. I'm Dr. Shadow the Universe. Hello, Mr. And welcome back to uh, the damn end user license agreement. Yes, I accept. I don't care. Just let me play. Final Fantasy XIV Online. Ah, uh, I can say. I can say. By popular demand. Because it was uh, yesterday on Live and Wired. Got a comment. Hey. When are we going to see Del Grotta again? And it's like, yes, yeah, that's a good point. It's been a while since I fired it up. There's a lot of games I'm playing. That's that's the problem. I'm pretty sure... Okay, yes, yeah, start. start. I remember how to play. I remember how, how this game works. Of course I do. It hasn't been that long. I don't know. Why is it set to top chat? It's set to all chats. There we go. All right, Del Grotta Log in. Here we go. The world is full. That's great. Gives me time to open up my monster. There's only eight people in the queue. It ain't bad. It's not a big deal. We can handle that. Currently level 16. Thaumaturge. Guardian is Ralgar the Destroyer. I am an Elzin female Duskwite. I, I know what some of these words mean. Oh, here we go. And yes, I'm playing this... Oh, oh, crap. Uh, do you know what I have to... Where, how to control again? Uh, this. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, it's a level 13. It's no big deal. Okay, we're fine. Ah, but as I was... Open the Final Fantasy... No, don't. I don't need to open the web browser. It's a terrible idea because I'm playing on Xbox. I'm playing, streaming it to my computer so I can have my OBS stuff going on. Hello, Arkham Knight. Hello, hello. So, yeah, just, just for clarity, yes, I'm playing this on the Xbox because that was my excuse for, to fire it up was, hey... After, like, over a decade, it finally came out on Xbox. So I'm like, yeah, may as well actually give it a try now. Use that as an excuse to hop in. Wade went on for, uh, he's glowing. I guess I talk to him and hope for the best. Uh, duty calls. Commence battle for O Captain Mike Captain. Captain, if you are above, you'll be synced as 18. I'm currently 16, so I guess we'll be fine. I could try running off and grinding for a while. But, uh, probably not gonna be necessary. Probably. I'll try and remember what the hell I'm doing as we go. <sighs> Alright. Now, most important thing to remember is what the hell voices I gave these guys. Uh, full 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 What the hell is the Fufulupa's voice? There. What does Fufulupa sound like? Do you know? He had no idea. None whatsoever. Captain Bladewind, sir! I discovered something shocking! Something horrible! Someone has been stealing gemstones from Copperbell Mines and... Wait, those gauntlets, those boots. Why, you're one of Quillon's men. Sir, that man is a thief. Sir, that man is a thief and a scoundrel. And what of it? This coin's good and that's what counts. What? Captain Wade, when are you working with these men? It cannot be. I told you to stay in Horizon, Fufaluba. I didn't have to. It didn't have to be like this. Ah. Friend's eight year old daughter got you fully into Art the Clown. Watching Terrifier, and she decided to watch the video, then begged for weeks to watch it. Finally watched them both. I got her Art the Clown dress. Kind of looks like the pale girl from 2. Now she says you need to get an Art the Clown costume. What the hell happened? What the. Hell? 
This is a eight year old. I mean, to be fair, like horror is different when you're eight years old. It's more funny than anything. You understand completely that it's not real, it, and it's just shock relies on surprise. Horror relies a lot on surprise in a lot of cases, and humor also relies a lot on surprise. Am I the only one that, as a kid, that remembers like when you were a kid, like being like horror movie? It's funny. I mean, I'm still like that, but I mean, <laughs> I, I think there might be an actual logical reason behind it. They'd get their nashite, I'd get my goo, and none would be the wiser. What if your crimes are uncovered? What if Ward Wawito finds out? Goddamn fool, don't you see? I am acting under the authority of Lord Wawito himself. No, you know, that can't be true. Why do you think people join your boy's wage, Oh, wait, no, sorry. He moved, I thought he was still talking. Uh... How am I liking Final Fantasy 13, 13, sir? Decker of the Shadow House? Uh, it's been a long time since I fired it back, fired it up again. I'm uh, still not quite into the point where I'm feeling like, yeah, I am enjoying my time with it, but I am still like in the kind of low, mid-level, you gotta grind through this to get to the good stuff part. And I'm like, I hope the good stuff is good. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not upset at the game, but I'm not feeling super enthused. I, I haven't been too big into MMOs in a while, so I guess there's that. But, you know, it's given me plenty of opportunity to read stuff, and I love that. <laughs> I love reading. Uh, I was terrified of Alf as a kid. Had nightmares, but you always laughed, so your nightmares would be Alf chasing you until he did something, and you'd laugh at him. <laughs> Realm Reborn is long a little bit, but trust me, once it gets good, it gets good. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give it a good old college try. It's tough because I've got so many other games that I've been playing and other games that I want to play. So i got to remember, put it, it, at least play it like once a week. That's how progress is made, slowly but surely. Why do you think people join the Brass Blades, Fufalupa? To serve and protect? <laughs> Reference. We're not the bloody flames here, we do it for the coin! Uh... Sir Baron Von Quiveron the Fourth Esquire. Okay, what the hell was his voice? Damn it. You there, adventurer! Do you remember me? Well, I remember you. I don't remember you, actually. I can't remember what your voice was, so this is the best you're getting. I am Sir Baron Von Quiveron the Fourth Esquire. You killed my brother. And now I'm going to return the favor! I, do, I don't have any recollection of this at all, honestly. Well, that settles it. It's clearly everyone's best interest that both of you die. Okay, cool. I'm gonna die now. I mean, probably. Target the dude man. Target the dude man. Okay, thank you. Remember my attacks? Ow, that's my ass. Uh. Crap, crap, uh, do 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 do, good. Oh, uh, is that one? Okay, no, that's not it. Yeah, that's not it. Okay, that's not it. I don't know what's, what's what. Crap. Okay, this is not gonna go well. Oh, yeah, I tried to sleep. It didn't seem to sleep. Okay, okay. I'm remembering. I'm remembering a little bit. I can read my my thing and see where the, which does what. And I think Fufalupa has been keeping my ass alive, because there ain't no way I'd have been able to tank this. Wear his spear. I'm wearing it into my gut. Oh. Okay. 
No problem, no problem. I have the uh, NPC to thank for keeping my ass alive, because I had no idea what I was doing for the first half of that. <laughs> I couldn't remember how to play, it's been too long. You were watching one of the videos on Terrify, part of what you were trying to say got deleted somehow. Interesting. Have I played Outlast? God! I'm trying to remember. Your partner is dead, and your plans are undone. You've no reason left to fight. Stay out of this, left, your frick. I don't take orders from you. I may have spared your life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will he show you, I wonder? You will have done so much in another man's name. What are you blathering on about? Every fisherman in Crescent Cove knows about your meeting, you arrogant fool. Quiveron's men couldn't keep their mouths shut. Imagine Lord Lorithio's surprise when he learned that a rank-and-file brass blade was using his name to advance a personal agenda. He knows! Seven hells! But I'm a captain! He wouldn't! I was once a captain, too, remember? And we both know what happened to me. I don't know shit! I don't remember any of this! Did this come up in the test? I don't... huh? Well thought, boy. You've done the blast brass blades the ro of the rose proud. Captain Wayoff it, Captain Bladewing, he said that Lord Wawibito... Lord Wawibito wouldn't waste his time on a small-scale smuggling operation. This is all Bladewind's doing. What else did he say? That all our brethren are no better, and that each and every one cares for naught but coin? Huh. Mere excuses to justify his schemes. Oh, I'm still I'm I'm playing the free version. I haven't spent spent the money on the premium. And with no shortage of greedy sods, some who'd probably sell their own mothers into slavery if the price was right. Yeah. But there are men like you, Fulfulpa. Men, good and true, whom the small folk respect. What small folk? That sounds like a slur. This is why I gave you the dagger. The last braids of the rose need a leader with honor. You're the most honorable man I know. <laughs> Captain! Thank you all for your help, Yagwa. The Captain and I will escort Captain Waywin back to Hawaii. Why visit me the town when you next return? Smart, because the free version is honestly criminal with how good it is, base game and the first two expansions. Oh yeah, I, um, for my Japanese study, I got kanji study on my phone, and uh, I was starting from absolutely no knowledge in the Japanese writing system, and uh, the free... The free version of Kanji Study is, like, the best thing to get if you're interested in starting to learn from nothing. Like, even if you know a little, it's still, like, you, you have the entire hiragana, the entire katakana, uh, over a hundred reading exercises, about a hundred kanji that you could start learning. Just, it's, it's got a... months. <laughs> Or at least, if, if you're a fast learner, a month of of stuff to sink your teeth into. So, you know, I I appreciate that in something that is asking for your cash but has a whole butt ton to offer. Give a good beefy chunk for free to get you in in there, and if you like it, you like it. If you if you don't, you at least are like, okay, well, I didn't have to spend money to find out whether or not I didn't like it.
need to get back into learning Japanese. I found Kanji Study is... Because it has, like, the daily revision, it's been very easy for me to keep up on. Whereas... Uh, I've had to remind myself, like, okay, it's night, it's after stream, that is Genki time. Open the textbooks, read, work on the... Uh, work on the... 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 Exercises. That's the word. I, I, I know English. I know English pretty well, probably. A taste of that buffet with a large dinner. So to think of the 14 free trial. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, kanji study is... I mean, a hundred-ish kanji to learn for free sounds like a lot. Until you realize that there's over 6,000 in the app. And technically speaking, there's something along the lines of 40,000 in existence. But... You... That's really if you are going full-on super nerd. Just, I spend my life studying. And I, I might have started a little too late for that myself. Hello, Mickey85. Hello, hello. Okay, where is the little boy? There we go. There we go. Fufulpa. Fufulupa. Fufulupa. Gotta remember the... Well, it's because it's a Japanese game, probably. A lot of the naming conventions seem to follow sort of a more Japanese structure. So, I... I Fofulpa sounds kind of right in my head, but looking at it, I'm just thinking, like, just break it up into fu fu lu pa And, it, and it's like, da, 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 like, that's... Well, that would be fu pa There is no L or R. I'm getting off track. A lot of the names are just weird. Welcome back, Yogwa. So much has happened. Captain... <clears throat> Bladewing has been arrested and stripped of rank, which means the Blast Blaze Rose no longer have a captain. Until a new one is designated, I've been ordered to serve as acting captain of the Horizon Garrison. To doubtless, this is only temporary arrangement, I will do my utmost to represent my brethren and protect the people of Horizon. Thank you, Delgua, for your service to the Sultanate. You are a true hero. And I get money. Alright, chop on boom boom, level 17. Good. Next main scenario quest, Secrets and Lie. No, 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 no. Which is. some. probably like right next to me. Yeah, it's him again, okay. <laughs> I got too, I got too caught up in in the UI. I didn't just open my eyes and look. There he is. Started playing Outlast 2 this week. I played the first, and it's DLC. It's different when you can't fight back. Ah, man, that's not that's right. It wasn't Outlast I played. I know what you're talking about now. It was. It's something else, another horror game, like, for the Xbox 360, relatively early in its life. I remember a lot of people complained about, like, the graphics aren't as good as they should be, and in the meantime, I'm looking at it like, this is some of the best texture work I've ever seen! Uh, yeah. Alright, full, 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 the, the F-Man wants to entrust me with a matter of grave import. Nice. I shall vote you on your friend. As acting captain, I should be much obliged if you will grant me a personal request. In your efforts to ascertain your full extent of the former captain's corruption, we have po been probing over his personal correspondence. Our search unearthed this sealed letter addressed to a man named Oi. But he is one of the Southern Swan Elite. 
I can think of no reason why he should be have any dealings with Bladewin. We now know your former captain was consorting with a coalition of criminals. Could it be the old one was too? This letter makes well serve as evidence of the collusion, and so I dare not tamper with it myself. But given the events of recent days, I knew not whom to trust with this information. Until now. I've chosen you, Dora. Pray bear this letter to Mistress Mummery of the Quicksand and will wait the circumstances of its discovery. Not only is she a staunch supporter of the Sultana, but she is well acquainted with the Sultan's one. She will know how best to proceed. Cool! Alright. Do the thing with the lady thing. Okay, understood. I can return to Ulda and get on that right now. Whew. Looking forward to the System Shock remake. A lot of, a lot of folks are. A lot of folks are. Like to play the Amnesia franchise video games and Choo Choo Charlie. Hmm. Are the Outlast Trials require you to play with other players? Ah. So that's, that might be why I'm not really the hugest MMO guy. Well, number one, like, like a lot of multiplayer games, it's better with other people. Uh, but I don't play too frequently. And I don't have friends that I jump on with chat with, so I'm just here alone watching everyone else have fun. It's kind of like going to a party. People love parties. I'm just the guy in the corner watching everyone else have fun. I'm not there thinking like they don't know I'm a Twitch streamer, a YouTuber, whatever. Like, I don't, I, I'm not thinking that. I'm just like, wow, look at them have fun. This is great. I should go home and take out my 3DS or something. I don't know. Uh... What's my history with Final Fantasy? Well, I was I grew up as a Sega kid, so I didn't get into Final Fantasy until Final Fantasy 7 on PlayStation 1. And funny thing, since I grew up as a Sega kid, I had a Saturn first and I didn't have a PlayStation and I just got kind of fed up with the fact that all these great games were coming out on PlayStation and not Saturn. And I was like, I decided one day, fuck it. And I got a PlayStation, and I got Final Fantasy VII, and I didn't have a memory card yet. But I played, like, the first chunk of that game several times until I got a memory card. Like, I played a few hours, I had to you know, turn the system off. And then I played a few more hours, I had to turn the system off. And, like, and then eventually I got a memory card to be able to actually save my progress. And then I still played through the game, like, three times. Uh, but the demo for Final Fantasy VIII just it didn't sit right with me, so I didn't bother with Final Fantasy VIII. I didn't really play Final Fantasy again until Final Fantasy X. Though my brother got Final Fantasy IX and played the hell out of that. The reason I didn't play Final Fantasy IX is because he was always playing it. Um, but... I played a little bit of 11, I think, which was the first MMO. I didn't play that much of it, I just, just like, newbie area. Didn't do too much. Played a little bit of 12, didn't touch 13, and I didn't play 14 until very recently. Played 15 a little, but it didn't really grab me. Never played Tactics, played some of the Game Boy Final Fantasy adventure games. But, so it's kind of off and on here and there. I'm not really a huge into Final Fantasy, but I'm familiar with the world and, you know, the lore to an extent. Ah, okay. Everyone remembers Mamadi's voice, right? Everyone ready for this? I hope I am. Even though you've seen the seedier side of our city, you can 
continue to help you, fellow man. Believe me, the folk around here will love you for it. Huh? What's that? You look like you've got something to say. I have a letter that is sealed, but not for me or you. Is that Elmo? It's, it's, it's Momadie. It's Momadie. <laughs> Maybe I should get one of those little switch boards, like one of those stream decks, and just like actually just change the pitch that way. Like, there we go. I can just talk normally and it'll work. I don't got to do this to my throat. But then I can't show off that I'm doing that to my throat. And if I, like, if I do high pitch and then I start talking like that anyway, imagine the sound. <laughs> Uh. So that's what this is all about. Prefellow was thinking Owen might have been in league with Playroom. But this letter could be proof of something shady. Well, he needn't worry. Owen's a loyal sentence won't as I've ever, ever known. I haven't the Yes, what it says, but... Wait a minute. Wasn't Owen the one who... Oh, hers. I got a bad feeling about this. Listen, look what... I think I know what this is all about, but I need you to swear to keep this seat quiet. If you'd rather wash your hands of this business, I won't hold it against you, but... If you're determined to see it through to the bitter end, say the word... Complete it. All right, all right. So I'm um, able to able to just say fuck it and leave. But I should continue the the, the main story quest because that just be kind of an anticlimactic thing. Just like oh well. This is getting a little heavy for me. Let me just go ride at Jacobo for a while. Oh wait, that reminds me. Is there fishing in this game? There's fishing in like every MMO. There's gotta be fishing in this game. Fishing log, there is fishing. It's unavailable at this time. It's in the pirate city. Okay. Well, that, that that gives me a goal. Something to work towards. I must find out how the fishing works in this game. I don't assume it's going to be fantastic. I have high standards on my fishing. But as long as it's fun, that's all I ask. Can I count on your discretion, dear If so, then listen closely. No, you can't count on my discretion. I'm going to tell everyone. I'm streaming it right now, actually. Like... Momdy, uh, you're on Twitch and YouTube. Like, wow. Recommend doing MSQ majority of the time because it nits you the majority of XP. The main story quest, main story quest. My brain auto-completed a main side quest, which didn't make any sense to me. Uh... Outside world believes Ulda to be a sultanate ruled by Sultana Nanamo Ulnamo. Truth is, though, it's the six wealthiest citizens that hold the most sway. A syndicate. Yeah, we. That's not a secret, actually. Like, I've been hearing about that shit a lot. Uh, loose links, uh, lips sink ships. We are at the bottom of the fucking Mariana Trench here. The Sultan is still at the support of the people. But she might struggle to keep it even if this, a certain incident becomes public knowledge. It pains me to say it, but her gracious crown, the symbol of the royal dynasty, has been stolen. Th 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 Black Daddy, this is just... Whoa. You did a 12-hour stream after the podcast, no problem. Therefore, StreamYard is the devil. Okay. I should rework the Live and Wire to just stream from OBS 
There we go. Bob's your uncle. I'll just get that stuff going. I can multi-stream to multiple destinations with OBS as well, so... That shouldn't be a problem. How am I doing? Ah, so just got a voice momenty, so it's 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 a t it's a tough day. It's a tough day. <laughs> there are people who wait a real world month for the conditions no! to be right to catch certain fish. <laughs> I just I'm just reading, Polta. I'm just reading. It's it's it's. I'm, 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 I got you. Got a role play. You got, if you don't put yourself in the character's shoes, then you're not really role-playing. And Mom, has got some tiny-ass shoes. I didn't design her. I'm just trying to pick a good voice for her. <laughs> and Owen, Owen's Sultan Swarm, who was charged with gunning at that night. Hmm. But what's this? I bet anything. This letter was written by the bastards who made out for the crown. Okay, Momody, calm down. It can't be a coincidence that the men we know to have been fertilizing with thieves had a letter for all line of all people at, at, at this at all times. You need to take this to the man himself. The great tell him Momody sent you and the concerns I lost earlier. All right, I'll, I'll do that. If it looks as though the fellow needs help, I want you to lend it to him. The future of a fair city may depend on it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Moment he was getting a little heated there. I was a little worried. Now where the hell am I going now? <laughs> Uh, okay, so we go south, south by southwest or something, something like that. <sighs> the Bambi horror movie is on its way, just saw the teaser trailer. Nice, nice, nice. Always like more horror, always like it. Fear, fear the small ones, we have tempers. Oh, I mean, yeah, I figured that out when I went to the Thaumaturge Guild, and it was entirely made up of, like, munchkins. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. Um, hmm. Well, that's not working. make a Saw kids movie as a response to the Winnie the Pooh and Bambi horror films. Oh, yeah, that reminds me of a post I saw where people were talking about how they were getting tired of seeing all these all these things like, hey, uh, here's this beloved kid show, but did you know if you think of it this way, then it's actually something just that's complete nightmare fuel? Uh, you, you're not who I'm supposed to talk to, is you? This is Sarah Ling's burial chamber, where the dead rest whatever peace they have found. I stand guard over that place, and without the proper leave, none shall disturb it while I watch. Yeah, 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 you do you! You do you! Thank you for that. Thank you very much for that information. Okay. Normal zoom, left bump, for R. Okay. I gotta get over there some way, somehow, some... Ooh. They should try making horrifying things cute and wholesome instead. Yeah, people were... People... What was it? Oh, God. I'm trying to remember what some of the examples were of... Mm. Dang it.
there's a, a, a lot of things, like, I can't remember what it was exactly, but it was like, this thing where it's like a, a slasher going around killing everyone, is actually just all these, all these kids playing, playing make-believe during a sleepover, and just having, having fun. <laughs> It don't look... Where the heck an ain't I go if I? Give me, give me, pardon me. I gotta be doing something wrong. Deliver the letter to Owen. Hmm. Gotta be a way to get to Owen. Hey, just go there. I'm like, yeah, I tried. I, I, I don't know how. It's got a little... Hmm. What's that symbol mean? Where? How do I get... The, everything's all... Wound up and wound up and... Upstairs in the Alchemist Guild? Okay. Give that a shot. I tried going downstairs. That didn't work out. I see the symbol where it's telling me, like, yeah, go do this, and I'm... There's this one door here. But it just go down. There's a Thaumaturge Guild. So, yeah, I don't know where the Alchemist Guild is. <laughs> I guess I should have mentioned that. Okay, it's just telling me the same place. I just have no idea how the hell to reach it. Looks like there's a bit of overlap in the maps and it's on the other part of the city. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out how to how to get to that other part of the city. So every time I go to what looks like it would lead to a door, like I went down this way, and that was also blocked off. So I guess maybe this way goes to that inner circle, and then that could get up into that section. Maybe. Okay, let's 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 give it a good old college try. We got we got something going on here. <sighs> okay, let's go in this way and down here. Oh, I should touch this while I'm at it. I think maybe I already touched that. Well, that would have been handy to know. Sign can't stop me because I can't read. It stopped me. I see you, Arkham Knight. Thank you very much for stopping by. Now, it is. What is this? Are we getting somewhere? Are we doing it? 
Will we finally make the make the the stuff a thing? I okay, I assume so. Scholars walk. Okay. Hey, look at it. There he is. Oh, jeez. Hey, Sultan Swan. How's it going? The heart of the sworn lies beyond. State your business. Pardon? Did you say a but what's this? lost heirloom? <laughs> Proceed. Proceed into the heart of the sworn. Yes. All right. Oof. Jeez. Hey, Owine, let me take a look at you real quick. I'm trying to remember what your voice is. Did you have a voice? I don't know. I can't remember you, Owan. Y'all, y'all just kind of blend together after a while. Owan, ah, uh, you look like you've seen some shit. And thank you again, Mad Slasher. Grab the Aetherite. Aetherite. Oh, the. I think I forgot to. Whoops. Ah. Y'all gonna jump me after I start talking to him? I gotta know, I gotta size you up. Okay, you won't be a problem. Alright. Well met, adventurer. What business brings you here this day? A letter? Very well. Let's see it. Here's your letter. But what's this? Have you read this, adventurer? The fucking thing was sealed. What do you... I see, but you have some inkling as to its contents, I think. Mistress Momity has doubtless explained to you the significance of this crown, and what its loss could mean to her grace the Sultana. <sighs> this, chef, this theft shames the Sultan Sworn, and me most of all. The blame is mine, you see. I grew lax in my duties, and in a moment of carelessness, no, it will do no good to recount the tale now. Since the hour of the theft, we've searched frantically for any signs, any whispers as to the whereabouts of the crown. We have found nothing! The identity of the thieves and their motives seemed fated to remain a mystery until you arrived bearing this ransom note. In it, the criminals state their price for the return of Her Grace's crown. And though it pains me to say it, I fear I have no choice but to acquiesce to their demands. Too much is at stake to do otherwise. The crown symbolizes her grace's birthright and identifies her as the custodian of the old legacy. It must be recovered. I will travel to the unholy heir and pay them their ransom. Though I am not foolish enough to meet these men alone, as they stipulate, I dare not bring a host of my comrades, lest the thieves take fright. Friend, would you consent to be present for the exchange? Mistress Momity has always spoken of you in the most glowing terms, and I have never yet had reason to question her judgment. On behalf of all those still loyal to the Sultana, I beseech you, help in our hour of need. I. <laughs> oh. Okay. Delivered the letter. Done. Rendezvous with Owine at the Unholy Air. Alright, I, I, I could do that, probably. Maybe, kind of, sort of. There, 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 there. Attunement shot, yes. Aether, uh, yeah. Touch. Yes. Fuck walking back all this way. Uh. 
Okay. Alright. So let's see. Where... My god, where the hell is that? Where the hell am I? Our station. Figure that one out. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. That poor Terra. She's sitting here expecting warmth from the computer, but it's not giving all that much right now because I'm just streaming from the Xbox. Whee! Ow, my legs! Scroll the map. Ah. Okay. All right, there we go. There, that's where we are. Okay, so we are down there. We got to get up there so we can go there, but that costs money. And I don't have much, and I'm a penny pinching bastard. So, teleport there. Run over there, walk there, and then just walk the fuck over there, and we're, we'll be there. Awesome. <sighs> okay. Time to walk. on an adventure and it's night well, at least the sky looks nice enough level one hornets ah yes giant hornets in the newbie areas always kind of remind me of the greater fate arc just the giant wasp enemies they weren't level one. They were like level four, I think. So, like, you start out and they will kill the shit out of you. But... They weren't super high level. You could get to, like, level three and four, like, pretty quickly. And then you could start taking them on and getting a decent amount of experience for doing it. Oh, yeah. It's just... Just the journey, the journey. It's always nice having access to travel spells. This EverQuest was my my frame of reference. Most of my MMO time spent in EverQuest. You had, of course, your horses. You could only use those outdoors, but still, you could. Uh, then. You had Spirit of Wolf, which that was the go-to for a lot of people. 
shamans and druids and rangers could cast it. And it's... It was nice. It could only be cast outdoors, but the buff still lasted when he went indoors. And in indoor and outdoor was tied to the zone. Uh, it wasn't based on whether or not anything was above your head. It was... It was, is the region, is the map that you're loaded into considered indoor or outdoor? Okay, it looks like it's below. Yeah, yeah, it is. There's, there's my destination. Hear me? Alright. Oxic Toe. But, yeah, the the fastest mode of travel is still, as far as I know, bards. They, they, they just have a, a speed buff that combined with all the other buffs and their, their bonus for their musical instrument just gives them ridiculous speed that can be, work indoor or outdoor. It's, it's, just, it's just a thing about EverQuest. Bards are just... They have turbo speed. They just do. You want to be get somewhere fast? Play a bard. Oh, I. Um. Oh. Okay. I gotta select. Wait to wait there. Got it. Remember, I got you. I got you. I'm a smart, smart. Max level 18. Well, well we're still kind of... We're catching up to it fast. I've come as agreed. Now, show me the crown! I you have your precious crown. Once we've been duly compensated... Do you think me a fool? What assurance have I what that you will honor your part of the agreement? Now, now, Wine. You're the least trustworthy man here. Not only was the crown stolen on your watch, but it looks to me as if you violated the terms of our exchange. Did we not say that you were to come alone? And given that you are not alone, what guarantee have we that there isn't a company of archers surrounding us even as we speak, ready to feather me and my men the moment they catch a glimpse of the crown? You have made mock of our trust. The deal is off. Wait! Here's your payment, as promised. Money! Why did you smell it? How the... What, is, what does Gil have as an odor? But... What? I mean, I get the... Like, that's, that's a classic. It's gold, it's a softer metal. Bite it, you can feel exactly how soft the metal is. You can tell that way. But... <laughs> no, Bullfoy, not that kind of feathering. <laughs> no. They're not fluffers. No, no. <laughs> a thousand thanks to you, boy. You succeeded where scores of thieves have failed. And now, at long last, we have it. The power to create an army of undying soldiers. The traitors spurn! The fuck are you talking about? How does money work in the... what? Huh? <laughs> no, no, it can't be. What have I done? You you funded them. What, how, what, did they fucking cash app that to get the Amazon same second delivery? Like, what, what happened here? Surely you must have wondered what it was that you were handing over. What it was that seemed as valuable to us as the crown seemed to you. Or did you assume you were feeling charitable? 
Uh, so it wasn't money. You said ransom. I assumed they wanted cash, but you, you you neglected to mention it was a very specific artifact that they asked for. And this didn't bring any fucking... Owen, you stupid. Ah, but you must feel terrible knowing that you brought us the doom of Silda. Worry not, boy. We'll grant you a quick death and spare you further ignominy. Not ignominy? That's my least favorite. There's too many! Dilgra, run! Run while you still can. I... I will do my duty. Okay, this is written an awful lot like someone I know. It's your duty to serve the Sultana, lad! And you ain't done it in a good way yet! Okay, no, it's... Okay, what, what's this? someone else. <laughs> yeah, this is Papa Sean. Papa Sean. Goddamn, what was Papa, Sha Papa Sean's pizza's voice? I can't remember. Damn it, <laughs> it wasn't that. <sighs> Something swarm! Put the thief to the sword and secure the crown! Sultan Sword? Ha! No matter! Kill them all! So we go doing murder time. Okay, I'm good at murder time. Don't, don't target my friends. Don't target my friends. Target my enemies. I need to target my en Stop. Target the en target enemy. There we go. I'm trying. I'm trying. He keeps targeting the freaking wrong guys, though. God damn, this motherfucker is level 20. This is gonna not work out so well in my favor if he ever decides to pay attention to me. In fact, I should probably back the fuck away. Uh, I feel like I got friends now. Fortunately, they're they're chain healing me, so that helps. God damn that! Who's chain healing my enemies? This isn't working out very nicely. Interrupt? No. Oh, please let this bastard die. Okay. One down. You garbled the far gone. Like that, it says it right over your head. Hearken to me, denizen of the abyss. Slay these interlopers and. Okay. Is that a void set? What? Duty failed. Pop shot. You bastards can't keep yourselves alive. I don't got a heals. What am I supposed to do about that? Damn it. <laughs> I'm the most fragile motherfucker there, and you died? <laughs> oh. Crap. Let's try that again. 
And no, I'm not gonna do all the reading again. <laughs> We're just gonna skip it. Well, shit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Normal, easy, very motherfucker. Normal. Oh, would you like to lower the difficulty, you little bitch? You seem to be having trouble not sucking. Okay. about taking these spare bastards down. Hopefully we can keep Papa Sean alive if these extra sons of bitches are oh, off oh, Switch transpose that. Oh well. It's fine. Everyone helping him out because they don't got these extra assholes just being assholes. And maybe. I didn't think we were doing bad last time, we just got murdered. I mean, I didn't die last time. I'm only NPCs died. I can't tell him to just be sure to go closer to the healer. Or is it? Are you talking about like enemy healers? Is that one of mine or one of theirs? Okay, it's the one I was facing. Okay. Hit this asshole! There we go. Whew. Enemy heals. Okay. Whew. Master Papashan! But why? How? The general saw you sneaking in the vault, Saran. He suspected something was afoot and ordered us to keep an eye on you. The flame general? He ordered you to look after me. But what's this? Master Papashan! More of them to the north! After them, Zatan Swan, they'll have the crown. Those slots are only to delay us! But what's this? Let us speak again, back in the city! Ladies, you, you take care of that crown business, I... I was important. Well, that's just me. 
the source of her strength becomes clear. You may what have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. Oh, shit! Oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I may smite mine enemies. That sounds bad. It sounds like a bad time. Roar? Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. It would. That's, that's, I mean, I'd like to be suffered to live poisonally. Defeat the Masked Mage. Working on it. Working on it. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, well, excuse me, Mr. Gargi. Okay. All right, no problem, no problem. As long as this guy doesn't pull out a second phase, when screams this preternatural might. He's just kind of hanging around, vomiturging. And also, your guy's like really weak. I'm blocking all of these attacks with my face. And you certainly have a knack for getting into trouble. An unwelcome guest. No matter, all shall fall before me. Uh, fire. This. You know, his 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 big thing. No mortal shall possess such strength. Yeah, well, it'd it be like that sometimes. Keep it up, Dilgra. We've almost had him. No problem. No, it's just A, B, A, B. Got this. No problem. Don't you worry about me. He's been doing a terrible job of taking my hit points down. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> oh, that the wisdom of Paragons should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons? But what's this? This is indeed a disturbing revelation. I had long suspected the involvement of the Bringers of Chaos. Asians. Give them their true name. But we could not be sure they were responsible for the recent disturbances until now. As if the Sultanate needed any more enemies. Hmm? Have we Sharalans crossed paths with Asians before? Well, we've certainly... Wait. I don't recall telling you about my homeland. Ah, yes, that's right. You're one of the gifted. You know, this marks the third time I found you in the midst of trouble. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you'd load your lodestone for it. Anyway, I'm glad I started following you around. Knows what grand conspiracy you'll stumble upon next. I just, I just, had I truly been watching your every move, I wouldn't have taken so long to intervene in your latest altercation. 
But all's well that ends well, eh? A masked friend is no more, and while I very much doubt we've seen the last of his kind, his demise will likely grant us at least some respite. And on that note, I must away. Until next time, Dobra. Laters! leave his dead ass there. Oh, evil crystal, that seems fun. Let's go touch the evil crystal. Breathe deep of the evil. Right, okay. Duty on our country. Destination? Okay, we gotta head our asses back there. No problem, this is gonna be a lot easier. First, we can just return to the steps. And then we can just touch a little thing and pop on over to the Alchemist Guild. Boom! Here we go. What the hell is this? <laughs> Adventuring gear. Oh, no, no, wrong button. Whew. Oh. Yeah, I was, I was, I was looking at that outfit. I wanted that dress. Everyone enjoying themselves, everyone having fun, nice to see, very, very good. I find a little crystal, go pokey poke. I probably passed one back there, but oh well, I'm going to one that I can see, so it's not that bad. It's not going to be like before when we were trying to find this place. You can make bacon popcorn, like like the popcorn kernels, instead of using oil, you use like bacon grease. I suppose that makes sense, and that sounds horrifying and delicious in equal measure. I mean, you use bacon grease to like grease a pan when you make cornbread, and it's fucking great. So, that's corn, that's bacon, I mean, maybe. Everyone is waiting for you, adventurer. Proceed to the heart of the swarm, yes. Ah, Papa Sean, how's it going? Got some stuff to discuss. This? Little surprise to you to see me dressed so, Dogra. I was once a certain swarm, you know. Now it's been 15 years since I put down my sword and took up the role of station master. Uh, it's a capacity in which I am no less proud to serve this new doubt. Whenever her grace vessels outside the gates, I have the honor of protecting her person. Never before have I seen her so despondent as when news of the crown theft reached her ears. Thanks for your violent efforts, she's returned to her former vibrant self! You have the gratitude of every Sultan Swarm, Dogra. Cool. Cool. Nice. Exalted Vessel of Nordal! What? Guardian of Thanalan, 17th Ascendant to the Throne of Uldar, Her Royal Majesty, Nanamo Ulnamo, presides! Wait a minute. Why you got another voice kicking? I do the voices over here. I'm the voice man. Get that other voice man out of here. It's my voice. I, I, I gotta do my level. A exalted voice, a vessel of Nal Tal Guardian of Tadnalan, 17th Ascendant, the Throne of Older, Her Royal Majesty, Nanamo Nanamo, precise. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Much better. Jeez. Before I get ready to do the overtime shift, it's somehow t talked into. But what's this? I want to say thanks to the content and everything. Oh, thank you, Callous Cow. Thank you, thank you. 
Long live Nanamo! Long live Nanamo! Glory to the Sultana! Forever may she reign! Forever may she reign! They regaled me with tales of a champion amongst champions, ones whose tireless service to the crown merited the highest honor we might bestow. See, she still has a pretty high-pitched voice. Pretty high-pitched. Mm, yep, that's me. Never did it occur to me that it might be you. Bring it forth! Bring what forth? They didn't let me get the crown. They ran off to do that. I, I, I stuck around and fought a big demon guy. Picked an evil mage's ass, and then I huffed his evil magic that broke out of the crystal. I think that might have... Uh, this might be a hallucination, actually. Oh, you're talking to him to bring it forth. Okay. What did I... Betokening our gratitude and esteem, I, Nanamo Ulnamo, Sultana of Ulda, confer upon you this gift. Is it... Can I eat it? Raubon? Your grace. See to it that our champion is my personal guest at the banquet. I can eat it! Yeah! As you command, your grace. If what they say is true, Ulda owes you a great debt. You might want to back up a little. Your grace is looking up your skirt. I am Rauban al-Din. With the consent of her grace, I oversee the affairs of the Sultanate. Brave souls are few and far between in these times. I count my blessings when I find one. So you're like, one. Nice. Her grace invites you to join her at the coming banquet. I trust I will see you there. Hell yeah, I love free food. Yep. An honor Huzzah. indeed. Come, hero. Until then, for the sake of her grace and the glory of the Sultanate, may you walk in the light of the crystal. And for the sake of her grace, may you back up because she's going to see something dangling in a second. That's, that's, not, that's a little unbecoming. I saw something dangling there. Love how this crappy voice lands there is some cursed nostalgia. <laughs> I just I just like reading voice lines out rapidly, but you know. Untradeable items. You have obtained an untradeable item. This item is yours, and yours alone and cannot be sold or traded. You have obtained a unique item. All these items are special. You can, as these items are special, you can never possess more than one at a time. The Uldan ring is placed in your armory chest. Okay, what's the ring? What's the ring thing? Okay. Direct hit rate one uh, condition. Oh, resistance direct hit rate what? Level fifteen versus an, a level eleven ring of fortitude. Direct hit rate, blunt resistance. Okay, so I'm getter, better at getting punched in the face, which is something I do relatively frequently. A weathered ring. Ah, but that gives bonuses to intelligence, and I like that. I mean, it's it's only a level one, but I mean, I, I mean, it's an item level five. But okay. Point is, weathered ring is a really nice newbie ring. And I think the Ring of Fortitude doesn't quite make up for it. I prefer the intelligence over the critical hit bonus and the defense. And the blunt resistance is nice on that, because that means I'm better at getting punched in the face. I don't know what direct hit rate means. 
but hey, I, I, I got it as a thing. I, I just, it, it, I don't think it matters too much right now. I'll just leave that on so I can work my way up to getting some nicer stuff. Hello, fuck she got her. Hello, hello. And pop, be popping in and out. I'm just going over the stat difference and figuring out exactly which, like, it will increase my killing power. It's, it's all very, very important stuff to math out. All right. Owine would like to speak with you regarding the Sultana's invitation. Buy the 12 Dilgra for an adventurer to receive a personal invitation from Her Grace is unprecedented. Seats at the banquets are offered only to the most distinguished individuals. You will be dining with some of the most influential people in Ulda. There are, of course, certain protocols that must be observed. But I am no authority on them. Fear not, however. Mistress Momody, <laughs> of course, has long been responsible for familiarizing foreign guests with our customs. Ray, return to the quicksand and speak with her. She will tell you all you need to know. Great! Okay, I can't just use the one teleport to get out of here. It's still on cooldown, so I gotta... Oh... <laughs> we got Leon Kennedy there. Okay, he's gone. I didn't get a good chance to take a look at him. And Larry Potter. Okay. <laughs> what are the chances we'd run into Leon Kennedy and Larry Potter? Well, I guess... Hey, is that Momody over there? That's Momody over there. Let's hop over there. Oh. Yeah, here we are. No problem. Boom. Quicksand. I'm learning how to play. That's nice. That's an improvement. Oh. Here we go. Welcome back to a group and congratulations on your invite to the big soiree. To be honest, I never imagined we explained the procedures to you. It's usually only foreign dignitaries who get to hear me prattle on about our royal traditions. Anyway, I know you're a busy woman, so I'll keep it short and sweet. In accordance with ancient custom, Focus to make what are required to wear a pair of ceremonial earrings made specially for the occasion. They're meant to symbolize... Uh, actually, forget about that. It was meant to be the short version. Anyway, being a design unique to the occasion, the earring serves as a security measure. The second swarm won't let you near the hall of Adam. Your set should be ready and waiting for you at the goldsmith's guild. Mystery serendipity is expected. You. So, you'll want to head down there now. Once you've got them, bring them back, and we'll continue. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wonderful. We get to chat with Mamadi some more. First, though, we gotta go to the gold thingamajig. Oh, boy. You back over there? You just... You just love... Love not being in places I know how to get to. It's okay, that's fantastic. This is beautiful, lovely, let's a hey, go. Just say fucking leave. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. But I want to go to the banquet and get food. That's the important part eating. We have an adult woman. Okay, she wears glasses.
What is her voice? Purple thing going on. I'm pretty limited on female voices, especially since most of the ones that I throw around I've been using for the little ones. <laughs> Valley girl. Greetings! Is there something I can help you with? Ah, uh, Dilgra. Your earrings are right here. I crafted them myself. I'll have you know that I think you'll be very pleased. In case Mistress Mummy didn't warn you, this box is locked, and I am not permitted to give you the key. It's a final safeguard. Y you see, only designated individuals are authorized to distribute this? the earrings to guests. In this instance, this person in question is none other than Mistress Mummy, so y you'll need to go ask her to open the box on your behalf. Pardon the inconvenience, but the Selton Sworn Taker graces safety very seriously. Okay, so now I gotta go the fuck back. Why you gotta be like, have these fucking fucks? Like, I'll, I got, I'll touch this. I'll touch this. This will help. I already touched that. It would have helped. Oh well. Okay. Here we go. So, oh, Mumdi, I got the earrings, or I got a box. You gotta open my box. Take the box. Pick up your earrings, up, Dilgra. Here you go. Rosewood box. Hand over. Let me just... <gasps> wow, now. Looks like the Gizmaster outfit herself with this pair. I thought they were supposed to look a certain way. Otherwise, that's the security man. Why you gotta be like, ah, oh god. This one is especially special. Now I'm, they're gonna be like, that's a forgery, and kick my ass out, and I'm not gonna get any food. You must take good care of these errands. If they fell into the wrong hands, God knows only what might happen. Adam! I hope you're feeling sessionable, dear Rick, because you're about to hot now with all that elite. Let me know when you're ready to head to the banquet. <clears throat> Let me know when you're ready to head to the banquet. Alright. Cool. Cool. Level 18. We're getting there. We're doing stuff. That's fantastic. Now, do I have actual earrings here? Like, it, th that looks like, yes, we have earrings. Uh, they do nothing. What? Okay, equip the damn things. I lost power for my weathered earrings. God damn it. I'll put the weathered earrings back on because these new earrings suck, but first I gotta do the quest. Somebody wants, you, wants to see you off to the banquet. Thanks, Sam. Is the stinky hall? Head over to the Royal Promenade and Buffalo Mall will show you in. Oh, uh, be sure to put off your earrings first or he'll send you back in. Right, well, I reckon that's everything. Trying to let all the pumpkin ceremony get to you. Just be yourself and you'll be fine. You were supposed to teach me, we were supposed to be like, hey, we got specific etiquette. It turned out only to be these fucking earrings that suck. Okay. <sighs> Great lessons, Momadi. Thank you very much. Put the voice of the just... Put on the voice of the just. I did. And speak to Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Oh. God, he's back in the golden bastard place. Alright. Gotta go to the golden bastard place.
Went out the wrong door. As I do. Stairs up, stairs up. I guess upstairs? Well, figure this out. Where the hell are the stairs? Is this the stairs? No, oh, that's a wall. You can't see shit. Are those the stairs? They look kind of starey. Yeah, those are stairs, all right. There we go. Okay. Be on the way. While we're here, we can touch the things and do better at touching things. Okay. Ah, there's a the thing. Touch thing. Okay. Oof. You have attuned yourself to all the infinite shards in Ilva. The Gate of Nal, the Gate of Thal, the Gate of Sultana, and the Airship Landing are now accessible as Aethernet destinations. Now have Aethernet access to the Gate of Sultana, Western Thalil Inn. You have Aethernet access to the Gate of Nal, Central Thalil Inn. You have Aethernet access to Gate of Thal, Central Thalil Inn. You have Aethernet access to Airship Landing. Cool. Okay, I touched all the crystals. You'd think these guys would put the cafeteria somewhere a little bit more accessible. And I turned the wrong dang way. Damn it. Ugh. I hope you never have to eat and happen to be in a wheelchair. Okay, Bartholomew, uh, oh god. Okay, Bartholomew, what's your voice? What is your voice, Bartholomew? A banquet hosted by Her Grace the Sultana is due to begin shortly. Attendance is by invitation only. Please make way for arriving guests. We are honored to receive you, milady. But what's this? Please proceed inside. Food. Food. Eat. Stuff face. Where's the food? Everyone's. I see people dressed badly and dancing and talking. Hi, that's great. Where's your food? What kind of banquet is All this? Hail 
the Sultana. Did she bring sandwiches? Your Grace. Stop flashing her. Raubon. Yeah, you don't gotta look at his face to recognize him, do you? <laughs> of a hero to Uldar and dear friend to the crown. What? Who? Honored guests, I give you our champion. And with that, I bid you enjoy the feast. What feast? What, what, what food? There's nothing here. Gandhi ate more than this. Not to spoil your appetite, but Uda is hardly so bountiful as this meal would have you believe. <laughs> While we gorge ourselves, children starve in the streets. Gorge on what? Nor can her grace do aught to help them. She is thwarted at every turn by those on the syndicate who derive their wealth from the workers' poverty. Ah, uh, so it should seize the means of production is what you tell me. Well, shit. <laughs> Beneath her mask of stately serenity, she is aghast at the plight of her subjects. Look, look, look how absolutely heartbroken she is. Jamming invisible turkey legs into her mouth, like, mmm, so tasty. But there will be no hope for the masses until the crown is restored to power. Was she, what, didn't we, did we not get the crown? Did, did they not get the crown when they went chasing after the guys that had the crown? I knew I should have been chasing after the guys of the crown. I am truly grateful for all you have done for Uldar. But there is so much more to do. That light. What is it? I don't know. I didn't program this game. So bright. Almost like by the 12. I, I, I can't remember what this is. Did I just shit a brick? Tell me true. Have you been troubled by strange dreams of late? Visions of the crystal? I uh, couldn't tell you. I have no idea what happened before I started the stream today. Mayhap you put them down to an excess of ether. This is a very specific question you're asking me. Hmm? Yes, you are like they were. Well, you, you seem to, like, you'd be furrowing your eyebrow here about that. Like, do I smell bad? Did I not change my robes before coming to the banquet? Okay, bye. Allow me to explain. Before you came to Eorzea, there were others like you who fought the primals. Though they were not of this land, when the Guardian Empire threatened the realm, they helped bring together the three grand companies. Like, uh, Walmart, McDonald's, and Coca-Cola? And they stood with us at Cartano, that fateful day five years ago. The day we lost them. Oh, well, shit. None who survived have forgotten the hero's sacrifice. Nor would any man deny they fought alongside us. I mean, I'm still looking for the food. But the names of these heroes come not to our lips. The once familiar pages of their story are now blank to us. And in our mind's eye, their faces are not but silhouettes amid a blinding glare. It is for this reason that we have come to call them the Warriors of Light. I thought when it was because they were good, you, but no, it's because they I were cannot help but think really of that bright. and of what you might achieve. I mean, I only got a free account, so it's got, there's got a hard limit there. You must protect that crystal at all costs. Does that make this better or worse? Uh, well, I think he's asking me for my PayPal information right here. <laughs> it is a gift from Heidelin, mother of all. 
and one she gave to you for a reason. Yours is no ordinary tale. If I am right, the fate of the realm may yet hang upon your deeds. Well, that's pretty standard anymore. Every MMO is populated by thousands upon thousands of chosen ones. Only heroes and martyrs are fit to bear such a burden. Let us pray you are the former. I died a couple times already. Happens. Yes? Well, that's a kind of, sir, you, you know, war, killing, that's one thing, but you, you gotta watch the language. The left flank buckles. Divert the barracudas. You got barracuda. It, you're on land. This doesn't seem like a great strategy. Bid them hold that position, though it costs them their lives. Now, we could also work on not dying. The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. You see, she got the idea of keep the things alive. Is that, 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 there you go. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Well, Masky Boo, he's at it again. Is Autumnus? No, it is nothing. Uh, okay, well, uh, continue. I thought it was about to end real quick there. The barrier won't go down so easily. Eyes forward. I mean, it, it, being blinded doesn't help either. You want a game where instead of being the chosen one, you're supposed to guide the chosen one, but they keep being stupid? <laughs> that would be a nice change of pace. We are being watched. You said it was nothing two seconds ago. Fireball change your mind? Ooh, he did. Raging bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond. Respond, damn you. And they got those medieval fantasy walkie-talkies. Well, it's not really medieval. Final Fantasy got all kinds of... When it's fun, there's technology. Raging Bull, this is Mad Slave. Respond. But this is still magic. This is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? Hello, Dio90. Hello, hello. I hope he wasn't talking about you with just there. What's going on? Speak to me! Hello, hello, come in. Come in. I'm losing your magical signal. Gosh damn it! We cannot hold much longer! <laughs> Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! <laughs> really? Really? What's wrong? Snake! Snake! 
We we got the magical radar radio screaming what's wrong, Snake <laughs> That can't be coincidence. Someone knew what they were doing here. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swan. I will. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. Yeah, we all we got is like gain. No bold. Sorry. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. Oh, well, it's, it's a fun part. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soir. Louis Soir. Who the hell is Louis Soir? Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link shells are useless. Link shells. Magical shell earpiece. Like, it's, that's, it's not... It's, it's a totally logical... Radio... radio. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! I was using my brain parts there for a second. Just like, hey, wait a ding, just a ding dang old minute here. Okay, well then, bye. <laughs> the outcome of this battle was long since decided. As someone wrote it a while ago. Finally getting to render it. Well, better to have retreated like 15 minutes ago based on that. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? I'm Decker Shadow, the internet personality with the best hair. I didn't do that. We go to take our place beside Archon Luiswa. To your positions. Okay, it's still going on. Kaspa Mool, so Ginin Moise don't rule. Right. Logalo. Asawad Deken Bed Mubut. Imarat Way. Kiskar Toga Hats Wadadorns. Who? What? How? Why? Seize me again. Feast Doom the only lamb rides at thy door. So, so like round, or are you one of them flat Midgarers? Like, is that like, we, we, we're working on unfolding the planet back into its proper flat form? 
You, you, you misguided on this one. You're just gonna destroy the whole place. That's 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 not how gravity works. Anyone catch that? Did I even get to eat anything? Of course you're the first one to come speak to me. Of course you would be the first one to come speak to me. Thanks. Thank True friend there, Momody. True friend. How you feeling, Dorker? Ah, drunk. I said you fainted in the middle of our general stories. I had to have you carried back to the hourglass. I reckon I made quite an impression on your fellow guests. That I probably not the sort you intended. Yeah, sure you get enough rest, dear girl. A life on an adventure can be pretty taxing. But mostly I just run at night. I don't sleep. I... I... I hardly eat. I was hoping for something at the banquet, but it was turned out to be imaginary. Any road, I'm glad to see you back to normal. No offense, but looking up to you was getting a bit tiresome. Oh, for a shit, uh, the general left a message for you. Said it, that when you're feeling up to it, you should come and see him at the Hall of Flames. Probably once you finish the story you was telling you when you fell asleep. <laughs> okay. Right then. Okay. Royal reception. Confirmed destination. Uh. There. Where the hell am I? I'm at the bed underneath. Okay, I'm at my private room. The steps of Null. There. Oh, over there. Okay, I can do that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good at over there. We can go over there. Right over there. Wee. Okay. <laughs> but it was all just a dream. Yeah, that, that. Well, I mean, that that was, but it wasn't. I'm sure it was like a vision of something that really, totally, truly did actually happen. You see, that, that those, those are the kind of outfits I need to get. I'm running around in potato sacks. I need to get the Smexy outfits. That's what I need. That's, that's my goal in life. My goal is to get a Smexy outfit and go fishing. At the banquet, Raban recounts the deeds of the half-remembered heroes whom Ezra's Ezronians now call the Warriors of Light. The tale triggers inside your mind a vision of the final moments of the Battle of Karta now. When you subsequently come to your senses, you are surprised to find yourself in a room at the Hourglass with no idea how you got there. Drawing a mixture of relief and glee, Momody explains that you've collapsed and messages the general would like to see you. Make your way to the Hall of Flames and seek an audience with him. I've been waiting for you, Dilgra. I trust you are fully recovered. Good, because there's so much work to be done. Work that I would have you do. I will complete this quest. Okay. Listen well, Dilgra. This will take some time to explain. Raban means to entrust you with a task of utmost import. Okay, Radagon, what, 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 Radagon, what you got to say? I prepared these letters for, for my counterparts of the Urzonian Alliance.
school. Five years ago, we looked on powerless as our brothers and sisters were taken from us at Carton First by the Garleans, and then by the thrice damned primal called forth by their treachery. Not a day goes by, but I do not think of my comrades. And of what might, of whom no trace remained. Tragedies of the calamity are not so easily forgotten, or should they be? In remembering, lost, we've reminded. We're reminded of what we still have. And so I mean to mark the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Carton and will serve as honoring all It is my hope my counterparts in the Alliance will agree to do the same. And I will have you bear my words then, personal, as my personal envoy. I ain't fucking going. Why you? Because your deeds mark out, mark you out as the nearest thing I have to a warrior right. I can think of no more worthy of the role. The question is, will you accept it? I mean, how much experience do I... I guess I accept it. Then it's agreed. We'll journey to Red Abbey and look for you. Yeah, that's my official reason. Now, that's a great many miles to travel, but I've never... I've neither the time nor patience to wait around and all you do. What? Do I get some... What do I get? What is it? I hereby grant you permission to use airship routes connecting with city states. This pass serves as airship routes. Does this cost money? Because if so, I'm walking. Gone are the days when airship travel is. The ever present threat of imperial attack has forced us to impose drastic restrictions on the public safety. Passes are circumstances demand it. In this case. As in this case. Though there were others who insisted you regardless. I am not alone in seeing it. Your potential is plain. But I have said enough. In the name of the Sultana, I bid you go forth. See for yourself the wonders of the realm which a warrior of light or a skull. Rise to your calling and fulfill your promise. And should your path be banned and by barred by a man or beast, to strike fast and true, victory belongs to the bold. Now go to him. And heed the crystal's guidance, should you ever lose your way. Okay. Quest accepted! Speak with Mondi. Ow. Oh, of course I gotta talk to Mondi again. Why wouldn't I have something very important to discuss with Mondi? Greetings from India. Thank you for the videos and streams. Hope you have a good, great time with the game and wonderful week ahead. Thank you very much, Valamish. Thank you, thank you. Having a fun time, having a fun time. Though I still... Still haven't quite got to the point where I'm there, like... Here's this nice loot to work for. Here's this nice thing to work towards here. Here's how to increase my killing power with this, that, or the other. I still have not quite reached that. Still trudging along the early quest lines. And they are what they are. Okay. Oh dear. I can do this. I can do this. I've got. I've, got, I've, I've nothing to be afraid of. No fear.
Oh, Pekka's shuffle off to meet Power Heaven, never known the blues of Lindsay and Lamsa's shimmering seas. Oh, the myriad ruins of Leafy Quitania. You can stop now. But not you, though, but you see those sights no more. And anywhere you go, you'll find fascinating folk with fascinating tales to tell. The people you meet, the places you go, savor these experiences. For oh, they are priceless. Oh! It'd be remiss of me if I didn't remind you to be careful out there. You don't have to, please. Oh, that ain't the only place to set my troubles. And you'll discover that when you visit Lindsay and Gridania. <gasps> Truth be told, that might well be exactly what the general wants you to realize. I think he knows what kind of woman you are, did What the hell is that supposed to mean? And what kind is that, you ask why? The kind that can't resist sticking a nose in other people's business, of course. And don't you ever go changing? <sighs> if travel's still good, I'll see you when I get back. Okay, good. Bye. Dia. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We're done speaking with Monty. Now we can speak to Eleonoria. The airship landing. Where the hell's that? Okay, I guess it's at the... Yeah, it, it, Based on that, looks like it's way up top. In addition to Ulda, the Azorian Alliance, encompasses the city-states of Gridania, Limsia, Lomsia. Once you have made your final preparations for the journey, take the well-head... Uh, well-head lift to the airship, landing, and speak with Eleonoria at the entrance lobby. The well-head lift. Well-head lift. Okay, it's somewhere... It, we gotta go up. But maybe, like, middle? I don't know. We, we gotta go. We gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Oof. Wee. Okay. No, it's not at the bottom. It's up there. Nah. Let me run faster. Okay, so that's gotta be... Here we go. Ride the lift to airship landing. Ride the lift to Ruby Road Exchange. Nothing! Uh, airship landing. Need airship landing? Yes. The steps of no. Ulda. Care Renfield. Okay, well, there's a lot of... I, 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 I get it, I get it, but I mean, th th does anyone have a, a character that's not named after a different character from a Lunarius Starwalker? Well, close enough. Wait, hold on, I didn't, I didn't, what? Okay, what's her voice? Greetings, madame. This is the reservation counter for passengers traveling to Limsa Lamza Lam, Laminza. If I'm not mistaken, you are the Flame General's envoy, Dilger de Guita, yes? Iwin Skyways is at your service. Will you be flying with us today? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. I will be flying, which is... We gonna fly? We gonna go, whew! And it's gonna be great. Gangplane. The hell's a gangplane? Well, I'm going to it.
board the airship? Yes, indeed. So we got free airship rides. Well, that's nice. Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Limsa Lums Lies Nizria is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Get a little bit of smile there, like, haha, I get to ride the airship. I'm like the only motherfucker on this thing. They hardly use them, you'd think they'd have some more people on them. Ah, uh, everyone there to wave me off. Then him, he decides they fucking leave. Oh well. When first we met beneath the Sultan tree, I sensed this it was something unusual about her. I wonder if they will feel the same. she get more most, most lines. May you always work in the light of the question? <laughs> What's this? Jesus Christ, Momity. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's a terror girl right here. What the fuck? I didn't think I was flying that high. What, what the hell is... When did we start playing Star Wars? This is... It has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. What's this? Since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. It's Star Wars. Lay, lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day. At the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost. Well, uh, and our hope of victory with her uh, it, so ended our glorious conquest. The word invincible means something. It, it didn't work out. Like, false advertising was really a problem there. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. Uh, For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy in his story. You're evil. Uh, he's, he, he's, he's, he's here to help people. He's, he's, he's got the moral authority. He's doing a good here. As all evil people think they're doing. <laughs> Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. I mean, even even people who are just straight up assholes like to frame it as if that they're actually more benevolent. Like I'm not, I'm not especially bad. I'm actually honest. Everyone actually believes the same things I do, but they're lying about it. 
So I'm just the more honest type. I'm, I'm actually, like, moral and benevolent for this reason. Like, no, you're a fucking asshole, is what you... <laughs> We are of one mind, Lord Van Balsar. Clearly. Lord Van Balsar. Okay. I think with all that power, you could have picked a better name. Lord Van Balsar. What the hell is that? And we'll find that out next time. Don't hack off your limbs. <laughs> hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia? I don't know if he's that close re closely related to Anakin. Ah. <laughs> uh. But the other things seem to be working out, so it may be. Hey? What hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign. And a huge one at that. Uh, yeah, we, we did the stuff in the desert with all the little guys. Like, oh, he stole some stuff. Oh, there's a little cult with some masks and stuff. Now we've got freaking Star Wars, Darth Vader, dragons, and all kinds of crap going on. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? Have you heard of the Blue Ocean strategy? You gotta appeal to the modern audience. That's where the money is. More customers, more money. And we all know the modern audience is totally real. I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. I mean, yeah! I mean, have you seen the track record so far? Uh, my, my lord! Is that... I is, is, better is, or worse? is he their lord, or are they just reacting to how absolutely fucking mwah, smoking hot the motherfucker is? Please, call me Nero. Oh, that was just reacting to his hotness. Where were you born? Oh, uh, he's gonna blow it up for them or something? Arthur, <laughs> my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... I don't know what the fuck he's talking about Silence. either. Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. What? What are we talking about? I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Well, I'd like to see something. What the fuck is going on? And do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. It was my partner for seven years. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. Okay, so this is like, uh... I, I had this game on Sega Genesis. What the hell was it called again? Uh, Techno Clash? It was like, literally like, wizards versus, like, robot technology and shit. You played as the wizards, which I, it was kind of disappointing to me because I'm like, I want the guns. I got these shitty little spells that have to be charged up. I'm like, these guys are beating my asses with all these fucking machine guns and shit. You know, the magic really ain't working out. I don't know why they seem to think it's such a threat. These guys are destroying me. It's a hard damn game. I should play it sometime. Man, I, I, I always wanted to... I always wanted to get better at the game, but I sucked at Techno Clash as a kid. You had two days till retirement and a family? Eh, probably. But with the power of Rewind, I could probably do better in Techno Clash. That's, you know, by cheating, but, you know, still. 
I feel like it wouldn't be as hard as chalking. <sighs> the Upper Decks. Yeah, so that was the in-flight movie, was Star Wars? Because I was told I was going to see, like, the farmland and the sky and the ocean. Instead, I just watched Star Wars. Wait till you get to the Namek arc. It's wild. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, okay, we don't... You just... Okay, I can't talk to you. You just greet everyone with Peridot's, like... I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's certainly a good first impression. I'll give you that much. I was just hoping that there'd be a little conversing going on here. Like, just... Well, I guess we cut to the chase, get to the important part, and uh, move on. Okay. Whoop. Ow. Ugh. <laughs> oh. That was the stupidest thing about Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Play as Dracula and he can be killed by frickin' machine guns. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I can't talk to anybody. Who can I talk to? Who's what? Okay. Arrival's attendant. Probably them. There we go. Finally found someone. <sighs> well, I wasn't dumb as a kid at <laughs> this. I, I played a lot of video games and I, I, I did some very complex video games. Uh, one of them was definitely too smart for me. I can say that. Uh, what, what the hell was that one called? Power Monger? That one was like, but that was like, it was incredibly janky as well. It tried, it, it pushed the uh, Genesis hardware pretty hardcore, had actual 3D map stuff kind of going on, and it was sort of a strategy game, and it did nothing to explain it to you, and there were a lot of menus and a lot of numbers. I did not grasp that at all. Techno Clash was just kind of a top-down shooter. Like, I expected more depth from it. I expected some RPG elements, and they really weren't there. And I just kept getting my ass kicked because it was a fucking hard game. <laughs> Unless there actually were RPG elements hiding somewhere in it. Uh, ah, you must be, uh, be the env- Okay, wait. Let me... Okay, so this is a cat lady. Ah, you must be the envoy from Ulda. Welcome to Limsy Lumsia. Madame Admirable Flishwin awaits your arrival. Okay. Uh, Mad Slashy is slacking. Where is it? Eh. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just getting kind of used to that at this point. <laughs> I got too accustomed to it. I don't earn it no more. Okay. But what's this? Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Michael Meister. Thank you for the subscription. Okay. We got a Poipal cat over here. You are the old un envoy. Welcome to Lindsay Lumsia. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the close lift at your earliest convenience. But what's this? He will take you to Bulwark Hall. What's there? Pray speak to Xanthia. He will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room in the ridge. Okay, so I've got cat people here. Uh, and where the hell do... Wait... Lift attendant, yes. Drowning wench bulwark hall. Okay. I believe I'm supposed to go to the bulwark hall, but you can't show me drowning wench and not and expect me not to want to find out what the hell that is. Ah, uh, yes. It's either a bar or they're literally drowning a wench just 24/7, and they're just having a show of it. And I'll just be like, oh, this is awkward. Lemon yellow shade. Oh, they, they, they got the shade right there. Okay. Okay. 
singing storm cloud of the sun. Okay, okay. I should probably, I should probably actually go to the bulwark. <laughs> Lower decks. Okay, Zen fail. What are you? All right, you a big burly boy. Okay. Uh. Greetings, Madame, and welcome to our fair city. You'll permit me to examine a seal in the midst of your carry. Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies, we cannot afford to be complacent. You understand? Please, step this way. Yeah. Oh. Yes, come and destroy all monsters in the Godzilla vs. Monster Month. Creepy. Month. Did I do... Enter. Royal Monsters. Shit. I want to say yes, but I can't quite recall. Also, this person has a voice, and that bothers me. Oh, it's them. Right. So the silver-tongued merchant send an adventurer to speak for them. It appears the Uldans place great faith in you. Hey, you're the chick from my dream. You got your ass kicked. This way. I'm not going to mention that to her. Not yet. Not yet. I bid you welcome. How's it going? I am Melvib Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Come again? Melvib Blufisvin. What? How? What the? Melvib Blufisvin. Mind if I just call you Meryl? Now. What news from Thanalan? Paper? Hmm. A memorial service to honor the fallen. Seven hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Garland Empire sought to wrest Erosia from our this? grasp. It was an answer to the Imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companion Companies and forged the Erosian Alliance new. But Garlemald was not content to wager all or a simple contest of martial might. They had other plans. The Meteor Project. Didn't cover destroy all monsters. What's the crap out of those reviews and the gamer reviews until most of them were taken down? Ah, dang it. Yeah. Dang old YouTube being YouTube. Legatus Nail Vandanus. Hells take him. Intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the lesser moon, Dalmund, from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme. I see what you did there. We marched our forces to the Cartanel Flats, and there met the Vilch Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartanel, and I have seen full many. But though we gave no quarter, spared not one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Dalman came a winged nightmare. A dragon the size of a bloody city. It was the elder primal Baumut bent on making an eighth hell. Eighth hell of Erosia. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while our own armies feared li fared little better. It was as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot dis well describe the scene. And yet... By some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. 
When I regained them, the dragon was gone. The still smouldering land was warped beyond all knowing. But Archon Lucio is still with us. He would doubtless shed some light on those unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. But while our nation struggled to recover in the uh, from the devastation, the Beastmen called forth the damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our foes will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only in the Beastmen. Do not imagine the Empire has forsaken its claim in Rosia. The Imperials crowd our borders waiting to strike. Damn it all. We need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the Calamity to work together for the good of Erosia. And the memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. Aye, Robon has the right of it. I accept his proposal. Is sign here? Scribble, scribble, scribble. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I'll see to it that Flame General receives my reply. I travel next to Gridania, yes? Uh huh, that's right. Pray give my regards to the Elder Siege Seer. Oh, and tell her if the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest, and one in poor taste. But I would have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, Dilgra. May the navigator guide you on your journey. So hard for me to go back to games without voice acting. Even the bad stuff is good for all the wrong reasons. And I like to... I like to read. At least we have Deckard narrating and not constipated moaning and groaning in the old Lego games. Even though those, those were very fun. I, I lo lo love that when it's a game and it's just like, it's got those short voice clips to convey the idea of a voice, but there's no actual words. It's like, uh. Mm. Uh huh. Huh? Uh. Uh -huh. Ah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not quite simul simlish. Okay, we gotta just. Hey, I just arrived here. I want to look at the city, touch some crystals. Jesus Christ. This is not the way to the city. This is the way to leave. Take a look around! It's just like, hey, why don't you just fuck off? Look at this place! Look, I was about to just not fucking take a gander? I've been in a desert this whole time. Look at this! I'm in the goddamn... I'm in Cyrodiil at this point. I'm, in, I'm at the Imperial City of Cyrodiil. Look at that. Got the silver fucking tower there. We got, we got the... Giant ass lake. Back with sea with you, Kuda. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. There's an invisible, invisible wall there. Can't do nothing about that. They got guns here. They sell guns. I want a gun. Look at those guns. I mean, I can't use it, but... And if I would, it would... They, they gotta do background checks? Come on. Oh, it's, it's Final Fantasy. It's gonna take a lot longer than it does in reality. I don't want a quest, I just want to buy a gun. Oh, hello. I missed you. There we go. Yeah, 
He did destroy all monsters. Kirby was particularly pissed about Mothra's death. There's also much mocking of the homoerotic subtext. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's hard to escape sometimes. <laughs> like, wait just a ding dang on me. Magic, totally acceptable. Boomstick, witchcraft! Yeah. That's a, that's a kind of a quest. It's like people are walking around with swords and maces and bows, and I'm walking around able to just explode people at will. But that gun need gonna need a background check. I don't know. There we go. Give a touchy touch to the biggie big. What the? The Weeaboo Police. Um, you know, maybe, maybe my decision to see what this place had to offer wasn't exactly the smartest one. Series Monster Island Buddies? Mm, no. Red vs. Blue with Kaiju Toys. It was written by me. Huh. You know, that sounds like something that me and my brother would have put together if we had Kaiju Toys. <laughs> we literally had, like, just. We, we had our toys as kids, and we just made little video. Like, instead of, like, people just playing with their toys, me and my brother, we would take the camcorder and record little stories, and we had do our best to try and do stop-motion animation to get things going. It was actually kind of involved projects. It was really fun. Hmm. Now I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Gotta f find my way back to the airship. Yeah, there's the big... Okay, we should be that direction, I think. There's a big bridge. There's the that place. That should be where I'm going. This is not the right place. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, because gonna have legs and buns of seal from all that walking. Yeah, it tends to happen. It tends to happen to me in these games. the right way either. Well, if I got that shard, I could transport to the other shard and I might recognize that area. Maybe.
Aetherite Plaza. Marauder Guild. Hmm. After Castle Culinarist Guild. Mar Culinarist Guild. Try that, try that. I think, yeah, we're back in business. Okay. Time to watch Chapter 2 of Star Wars Final Fantasy Edition. Greetings, madame. This is the Count of Passengers traveling to Grania. A pleasure to serve you again, madame. Are you ready to board the airship to Grania? Yeah. Gangplank. Yeah. Uh, waiting at the gangplank. Yeah. Going on the airship. Yeah. Boarding away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Movie time! <laughs> or we could just arrive. No in flight movie today? Man. New Britannia. Okay, the last place was a real good first impression. What do we got here? What do we got here? Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> Are you trying to scare away visitors? Like, Outfit is one thing. It's not exactly welcoming. Uh, then you got that grimace on your face, which you seem to be trying to cover up with a mask. But the mask isn't even particularly large. It, and it, it makes you even scarier. But even scarier than that is your fucking hair. What is going on here? After, after the last place, I gotta say, sir, you, you're highly disappointing. Get yourself some boobage and some better clothes and we can talk later. Alright? This is a lady, I believe. Kind of tall. I think she is of the same same race as my character. Yeah, we're about the same height, same build. Okay, what's a good... All right. Ah, you must be the envoy from Ulda. Welcome to Gridania, madame. The Elder Seed Seer awaits your arrival. Yes. Okay, let's go. Hello, TJ Schneider. Hello, hello. Rebel what Summon! Hell, Summon! Summon! What are you talking about, little guy? I don't know. Oh, jeez. Okay. Who's the Elder Seeds here? Serpent Honor Guard. Okay, it's not you. But what's this? Greetings, good madame. You are the Uldan Envoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Pray make your way into the city proper and identify yourself with the conjurer at Norfia's altar. She would admit to you this? the lotus stand where the Elder Seed Seer awaits. Why you gotta make it all complicated? What? 
They got Pokemons. Okay, they 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 took their Pokemons. Hey, uh, now how do I get the hell out of here? Come to join us on the front line, or perhaps you have questions to ask. Uh, no, goodbye. Upstairs? Go upstairs to leave? One day, all this will be mine. Okay, we found another this? another bad guy. I can push him off the edge. And it'll... We, we can save the world right away. But what's this? This... Watching... I do who? What's the how the what's it? But what's this? <laughs> it's okay, Matt Slasher, calm down. <laughs> oh I tinner mole. Okay, I got to the Aetherite Plaza. Present Raobon's missive to the Silent Conjurer at Nofisha's Altar. Great, where the hell is that? To the west. Right. West and then north. The impenetrable, impenetrable barrier that is the wooden crate. Yeah. Whee. Old Gridania. Yes. Oh, we got crystals to touchy touch. And that's where the dude man is. So good. That one has a little ghosty pet. Walter would love that. Look at it. Look at the little ghosty pet. Get Polter to play so she can get a little ghosty pet. It'll be great. Ah, dang it. Silent country. Yeah, what are you? Okay. Silent. You are the old on envoy. Begging your pardons, madame. But might I inspect the missive you bear? But what's this? Are you sure here it is? Verily, this is the seal of the Supreme Commander of the Immortal Flames. Please come with me. Okay, I, I'm just gonna show up right there. Hi! I remember you with a dream too. So you are the Uldan Envoy. That, that, that's what they tell me. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. That's yeah, so what people generally do. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. Uh, you're gonna have to help me out here. What the hell is a Seed Seer? I, I, I'm really drawing a blank here. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. Yeah, we, we, we got like a, a family reunion or some shit going on. Uh, 
a remembrance service for the fallen of Katanao. Pray tell me, adventurer, what do you know of our conflict with the Empire? I saw it all in a dream I had. It would seem my counterparts recounted the tale in this? some detail. That is well. Hmm, a message from the Admiral. A wolf has been sniffing around her stables, you say? I see. Well, I shall be pleased to provide her with such counsel as I am able. But first, friend of my friend, I would tell you more of the Garleen threat. For the greater part of its history, Gartomade was not even among the most influential nations in Ilzabard, the northern continent. However, its innovations in the field of Magitech, some fifty years past, helped to raise it from the depths of obscurity. Wasn't that a Star Wars movie? I mean, yeah. Emboldened by this technology, it set about subjugating its neighbors swiftly absorbing each into its ever-expanding territory. And when all of Ilsebard lay within its grasp, it turned its ravenous gaze upon Erosia. Yet Garlemade's transformation did not come about by virtue of Magitek alone. Its success owed much to the cons consummate leadership of its first and reigning emperor. Solus Zos Galvus the man who built an empire in, its, in his own lifetime. Yet he has lived long, and after more than fourscore winters, it is said that he grows frail and ever more prone to illness. If rumors are to be believed, the matter of succession has destabilized the imperial court. This will explain the empire's relative inactivity in recent years, which has granted us much needed time to rebuild. Yet we cannot allow ourselves to become complacent, for Garlemade still maintains a presence in Erosia the f in the form of the 14th Imperial Legion. Commanding this great host is the legal Legatus Gaius van Bailsa, a man whose ambitions are well known to us. So long as he breathes Erosian air, none of us may sleep easy. The Calamity wreaked such devastation upon the realm that it has been all we could do to nurse our wounds. Never mind rebuild our defenses. Simply put, we have not stri the strength to repel the Empire. To add to our woes, the Beast Tribes continue to summon their primals, whose very existence is a bane upon the land. Each nation is beset with its own primal problem. None has the resources to look beyond its own borders. The Admiral desires my counsel regarding a brazen wolf. She means to tell me that the Empire may soon resume its advance. Though the Primals pose an undeniable threat to our survival, the threat posed by the Garleans is greater still. Clearly, each nation can no longer afford to think only of that which occurs within its own borders. A storm gathers upon the horizon. If we are to weather it, we must need... We must needs stand... We must needs stand united once more. A remembrance service may help to rekindle the spirit of unity which brought the people of Erosia together when the last empire threatened our liberty. The Flame General was wise to make his proposal, and I wholeheartedly approve of it. The necessary provision shall be made for service here in Gridania. All right, cool, great. Okay, we just always signing things off screen. Cool. I'm I'm on uh, Marlboro. It was the easy one to remember.
Your work here is done, my friend. I shall send my reply to the flame general forthwith. I thank you for coming. May the Twelve see you safely home. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. I know how these stories work. Okay, boom. You may now make use of the airship routes connecting the three nations. Before you may board an airship, you must pay the requisite fare in Gil. Damn it, now it freaking costs money? Oof. Minions. You have obtained a whistle which with, with which you can summon your very own minion. To learn the call minion action, you must first use the whistle. Eh? Once you have used the item, a new entry will appear in the minion guide under character in the main menu. You can either initiate the action from this menu, or set it to your cross hotbar and initiate it from there. To send your minion away, simply reselect the summoning icon. Minions can be summoned or dismissed at any time, and the whistle has no recast timer. Once you have learned the summoning action, you will never lose it, and it can be used with all classes or jobs. You can only summon one minion at a time. While minions do not generate any en 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 enmity, enmity, neither will they participate in battle. If you are KO'd, your minion will simply wander off back to wherever it is and where wherever it rests until you call upon it again. Okay. I have pets now. Oh Man, that voice was somehow really, really hot on the sinus. Oh, jeez. Just the, the specific tone was like, gah, 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 gah. And we're coming up on three hours. I'm coming up on quitting time, and I need to, need to call it so I can get back to my reading of Genki. Getting all that fun stuff squared away. Whew. Oh, but what's this? I, <laughs> thank you, Mad Slash. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I think that's that's about the time I has for today. So thank you all for watching. I have been Decker Shadow, and remember, voicing every single character in an MMORPG is a bit more of an ask than you might initially think. But it's been fun. So, with that in mind. It is time to raid out. It is time to raid out. Now, who... Bolt is not streaming tonight, so who does that leave us? Okay. Oh, he's got 41 viewers right now. I don't know if showing up with my, like, 8 is gonna... <laughs> ah, screw it. Let's raid Boxer. He's there playing some... Playing some... Neo 2. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. So, I see y'all's latest. I'll catch you tomorrow. Holter should be streaming tomorrow, so that's, that's gonna be fun. And we'll see. We'll see. <laughs>